Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and today I would like to make a video about my favorite subject, which is the mucusless diet healing system. What else am I going to talk about? Well, I could talk about music, but it's all related to me. But this will be the second in a series of videos on what kind of foods do people that practice the mucusless diet healing system eat on a regular basis without further ado what would i like to eat now this is just off the cuff i'm not i didn't put this together beforehand or anything like that so let's just explore together shall we strawberries have been delightful this year they have been very tasty they smell wonderful and strawberries are a fruit that I can smell as soon as I walk in the door of a supermarket I can tell you if the strawberries are fresh and ready to eat I can smell them all the way at the front of the entrance sometimes I'm competing between fried chicken and turkey and some nasty things but strawberries really really are tasting good this year and I'm putting them in a lot of juices so I like to if they're good enough I like to add them to juices I usually don't have a lot of mono strawberry meals I tend to combine them with other things add them to blended items if I make some kind of smoothie banana uh, I like banana strawberry smoothies with some kind of juice I add maybe grape juice to it or something like that but some nice smoothies and juices are what I tend to do with strawberries but it's a wonderful wonderful fruit when it when it's ripe when it tastes really good speaking of bananas bananas now main thing which I've said in other videos about bananas are you want to have ripe bananas you want them to have little black dots on them see all these ones really on this picture here are not ripe enough for me I want ripe bananas in fact let me type in ripe See, this is what I'm talking about. I want to see black dots on it. This is ready. I want to see the black dots on it. This one might be just a little bit, because I don't like them totally black. So that's a little, a little bit too much for me down here. These would be cool. This would be like the last day. The day after this, it'd be a little bit too much. Uh, these would be perfect this is real perfect perfect now this is an interesting graph there's a lot of people eat bananas here because this is where they sell them at the store they sell them here but I definitely eat them when they're here and I'll usually buy ones that I see that look like this I might buy five of them like this and then buy five other ones that are in this range so that several days later I can eat these and I can eat these immediately bananas mm -mm. this is baked banana here I think oh well I guess I don't know what they're doing it says upsides upside down banana cake but this is just baked banana which I actually have a baked banana recipe that will be in my upcoming menu book a transitional menu if you're a raw foodist and don't want to deal with the baked banana then you don't have to worry about that one but for those of us <laughs> that one it was really a great uh, it was it's a great meal and it, it's it's cool if you don't have ripe bananas that's an that's another thing you can do but let's see P 
peaches. I don't get a chance to really eat a lot of peaches because they are often not ripe enough and I cannot eat a not ripe peach. It just doesn't taste good. So I like, uh, it's usually only, it's rare when I see some good peaches. But if you live someplace else than where I live and they have great peaches, go nuts. Very tasty, good fruits. talk about oranges and citrus in general I did a lot of orange fasts orange juice fast fresh orange juice fast kind of in the beginning I would go to a wholesaler get a box of oranges and with a citrus juicer juice them I usually will if I use a regular another type of juicer the regular kind of central fruit juicer I will take the skin off and then put it in and mix it with other fruits I usually don't like to juice oranges in the central fruit juicer just without adding other items to it I want to see some orchards that's better Mm. I stole this picture and used it for something. <laughs> Orange orchards, Valencia, Spain. Mm. Always got to ruin it, got to put some mucus in there messing with my pictures so oranges are just I, I don't even really have to talk about it they're they're wonderful again if you can find some good ripe oranges if they're in season if they're good that year I had about a there was about a month of good oranges this past year I think January the oranges tasted pretty good January and February I think is when I bought cases of oranges this past year and orange juice fasting is pretty aggressive. It's, it's, it's a fairly aggressive fast, especially depending on what your physiology is doing. Minnelos. These are really tasty. I like, now what is this doing here? Uh. Mm. Now it's a shame that we can't find, or it's, or it's pretty hard to find ripe pineapples, particularly in the, most of the United States as far as I know. Every once in a while I'll see some that really look good and I'll go ahead and buy them and eat them up, but they don't really ripen well once they get off of the tree and most of them are picked when they're green and so they kind of ripen more acidic but there's a couple places I go that will have more well ripened pineapples but definitely love me some good pineapples and these are cute there's a place called Jungle Gems in Fairfield a suburb of Cincinnati Ohio and they have these uh, these little small I think they're from Africa or, or I forget where they're from but they're these little tiny pineapples that are kind of good get ready honey bell tangerines or tangelos my aunt usually buys me a couple cases of these every year. Is they come out 
in December, between December and January. And they are incredibly juicy. They actually send you a bib. <laughs> They'll send a bib in the case. And <laughs> this is a kind of a joke, you know. But they're kind of serious because they really are that juicy. Why do they have all this garbage on here? Mission Figs. I ate a lot of these over the years. I like to combine them with grapes. They are, in the earlier stages of the diet, they tend to have a more laxative effect, especially if you have more waste in your intestines. Later on, down the road, they just felt like total natural food. I wouldn't have a more laxative effect than eating anything else uh, while eating them. You usually want to avoid store-bought stuff or the stuff in a bag. Uh, maybe this one doesn't, but some brands will put this extra sulfates and all this kind of stuff in the bagged ones. But I will tend to go to Whole Foods or some place like that and get the bulk figs. Whenever I get in a fig mode, I'll get the bulk or have them from, from the bulk. Sometimes they'll prepackage the ones that are in the bulk. But basically, they're not sprinkled with any kind of sulfates and all these weird preservatives. Now, this, yes, yeah, Sunmade definitely has preservatives and stuff in it. So I would uh, steer clear. Now, if there's you don't have access to anything else, and that's all, you know, you're in this remote place where all you have access to is that, and you're beginning your transition, you got to do what you got to do. That's one of the things that is probably a bit different with our message and other folks. It's very survivalist in nature. And what I mean by survivalist is you do what you got to do. If you gotta buy something that's not organic, if you gotta, sometime you get some store-bought juice, sometimes you have to get something that has some whatever, you know, in a bag. Uh, you do the best you can with the resources you have in the area that you are. You just do the best you can do. And you don't get hard on yourself. You just keep moving forward and you problem solve. You try to find ways to always get what you want, get what you need, and move toward that. And sometimes that means totally changing your perspective about life, totally changing your habits. So I think we will look up one more item. How about dates? Now, I'm a fan of medjool dates in particular. Dates are not the greatest detoxifiers. I wouldn't fast on dates. What in the heck is going on here? Oh, this is insane. Dates with eggs. All right, now we're, we're trying to keep this positive. This is a positive, feel-good video, so let me not get sidetracked on some insanity. So, Majul dates, very tasty. I like to combine dates sometimes with banana if I'm in that mode. It's, of course, that's incredibly sweet, but uh, banana and dates. Eh.
I'm not a fan of blending up dates. I know some people will take dates and make a lot like sauces and real sweet things by blending them. I'm really not into that type of thing. Uh, I like to eat. I either like to eat stuff or juice. I do blend occasionally, but it's not a daily thing. Juicing is a daily thing for me. And if I'm eating, then I usually go between eating raw fruits and vegetables. And on the other side, then there will be a lot of, you know, fruit juices is my favorite. I don't juice vegetables as much, but I do get into vegetable juices but uh, I'll get more into some of that another time so I think we covered a lot of the main fruits that I really like to eat of course there's other things we could talk about uh, pears are really nice but again it's pretty hard to find ripe pears we have some kiwi here occasionally like kiwi So that will do it for this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and got something from it. And I will talk with you very soon. Peace, love, and breath.